In this video, we're going to introduce theta roles. And theta roles revolve around the semantics of our noun phrases. So for instance, in a sentence like John eats toast, the verbs have requirements for what the subject and the object can be. So for instance, John eats toast is okay because the person who is capable of eating is the subject and the thing being eaten is the direct object. But in the toast eats breakfast, we have some issues because the toast is not someone who can initiate an act of eating unless the toast has a mouth and arms, for instance. Uh, breakfast is fine because breakfast is a thing being eaten, but the fact that the toast isn't someone or some sentient being makes the sentence weird. So when we say something eats something, what we really want is an agent or initiator eats some sort of object. So, one type of theta role is called an agent, and an agent is an initiator. So, in the eating examples, John would be an initiator of eating. In the sentence, James hit John, we have James is an initiator of hitting. He is a physical person who can hit John. You can see this physical initiation of hitting. Or when Mary threw the ball, you can see that Mary is the initiator of the throwing. She is the one capable of doing the action of throwing. So in these cases, James and Mary are our initiators. And words like hit and through require that initiator. An experiencer is someone who perceives an event. So for instance, in the sentence, Maria saw the fireworks, Maria here is an experiencer. She is someone who is seeing the fireworks. She's not an agent because the act of seeing like laying down and seeing, when you say Mary saw the fireworks, you don't make that active uh, motion of looking towards it. You just passively take in the environment. You're experiencing the fireworks. Or in the case of James felt threatened, he's also an experiencer, not an action, because he's not initiating the action of feeling threatened. He's just perceiving the feeling of being threatened. So. Agents and experiencers are not quite the same thing. Agents initiate actions and experiencers perceive actions, and they can both be subjects. Some verbs want experiencers, some verbs want agents. For instance, with the word felt, if felt wanted an agent, then that would be the physical act of feeling. But this felt, as in a feeling of an emotion, this is a verb that wants an experiencer as a subject. Okay, the theme is the thing that undergoes the action or is the thing that is being perceived. So themes typically occur with agents and with uh, experiencers. So in the case of Mary through the ball, we know that Mary is the initiator. She's the agent, but the ball is the thing being thrown. So the ball in this case is our theme. This is the thing that is the topic of discussion, is the thing that undergoes the throwing. In the case of Jeff loves cookies, well, Jeff is an experiencer of the emotion loves. So Jeff here is an experiencer. And what is the thing he's experiencing love for? It's cookies, that's the theme. So the theme is usually the object that undergoes an action or is a thing being perceived. So one case of an agent with Mary, and one case of an experiencer with Jeff. Okay. The goal is a location, or an entity in which something moves. So if I say something like, she went to Madrid, well, we have she is the agent of the sentence. She's the one initiating the action of going. And then Madrid is the location. So this is usually after a preposition like to, or any preposition of location, like at. So she went to Madrid. That is the goal of the sentence. So, or specifically, I should call this a goal, not a location. If we say, I gave a lecture to the class. Well, I is the agent here. I'm the one giving the lecture. A lecture is the theme, because it is the thing being given. And then the class is the goal. So this is different because this isn't a location, but this is an entity, okay? So I'm transferring a lecture, I'm transferring my knowledge abstractly to 
a unit of people called the class. Okay, so it's me giving something to an entity. There is this sort of transfer of knowledge. So this is much more abstract than someone physically moving to Madrid, uh, but it's the same sort of concept. An initiator is giving something to uh, someone. Okay, so that's an example of a goal. Now, a location is where the event takes place, okay? So, uh, in this case, there's no transferring of knowledge. There's no transferring of something. So, uh, in the case I learn in the park, we have I. This is uh, the agent. You can actively learn. Uh, could be an experiencer in some case. Uh, I learn in the park. And the location of where this learning is taking place is the park. So this is not a goal. You're not trying to give some knowledge to the park. You're not trying to go to the park. Uh, the result of the verb does not end up with you in the park. It just happens to be that the learning is taking place in the park. Another example would be he died at home. Okay, he, in this case with death, you don't really have an agent, you don't have an initiator, um, but you do have to have someone sentient. So sure, we can say this is an agent or an experiencer here, depending on whether it's suicide or not. Uh, and then you have, he died at home. So home is your location. This is where the dying is taking place. This is not a goal, this is just a location. Okay, finally, the last theta role here we have is an instrument. So this is the entity which the event occurs with. So Harry scored with his non-dominant leg. So Harry here is the agent, he's the one doing the scoring, and his non-dominant leg is the tool that he used to accomplish that goal. So this is what we call the instrument. Okay, so these are all the theta roles you'll probably learn about in an intro to linguistics course. You may see these same labels with uh, slightly different names. Uh, so you may want to check out online to see how that corresponds to the theta roles here. Uh, but this is what you need for success. So if you have any questions, please leave them in the comments below and I'll answer them the best that I can.